I would say, yeah, I definitely do see that difference. Like, I mean, you see these young girls that, you know, it's like you said, they're fresh out of high school. You know, they're not in university yet. They're able to take that gap year, take that leap year. And they're able to travel to wherever. They can go to, say, like, they can go to Europe. And, like, a lot of the times, the difference between Asia and Europe is a lot of the um, agencies in Europe, they will never advance, like, a girl's flight. Mm -hmm. Because it's a big risk. There's so many models there. They really don't need that. Unless, like, they think a girl's truly spectacular, they might front it. Even mm -hmm. then, not really. In Asia, they will almost always advance a girl's yeah. ticket. But then, with these like younger girls that are coming out of high school, you know, they want to go make it big, so they're gonna go to Europe. They're gonna try Fashion Week. An agency, you know, maybe won't be able to advance their flight. But because they come from that wealthy background, those parents will go, "What's six hundred dollars to me?" Yeah. Go. You can't fault people for being born into wealth. You know, mm -hmm. I call it winning the ovarian lottery. <laughs> you know, you win. You know, it's like you got dealt these cards in life, and you're lucky. Good for you. Mm -hmm. But it does suck because then you see these other girls that are legitimately struggling. And in Toronto, I have this one girlfriend who she really wanted this one job. And it was like for a few thousand. And it was really going to make a difference to her. She mm -hmm. has rent to pay. She's She moved from out west. She has money, but like, you know, not a ridiculous amount. Mm -hmm. Then there was this other girl that comes from, she just comes from money. Like her family's unbelievably wealthy, but she got this job. So to her, it's just yay extra income, you know, yeah, it's great. Or but exposure. It's exposure, exactly. But then whereas this other girl is like, oh my god, I really, really needed that. Yeah. Like, so it just sucks to see that. You, you definitely see the differences. There's like a mental health factor with people who are stressed for money. It's like, I need to make contract and I need to make this much above contract. Yeah, I or, need to pay off my expenses. Yeah. I need to make money. I need to do this. It's like... For me, it was, I've never really had to worry. I was like, oh, if I make money, yay. Like I said, while I was there, I might be end all. Mm -hmm. It's like, if I make money, yay, and if I don't, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But I've had girls that, you know, like friends that cried, like to me. Like I've held girls like crying in my mm -hmm. arms when I've been traveling. They're going, I need to make money. You don't understand, I need to work. I have no money. And they can't go back home after because it's like, where are they going back to? They need to keep traveling. So then they stress out. Like I wrote an article on resource about stress and the negative effects. Yeah. So what's going to happen is, you know, these girls can get stressed out for money. They're going to go to their castings. They won't look their best because they're going to be stressed out. You know, they won't be happy. They won't be happy and bubbly. They're going to, you know, start eating all the things inside. They're going to go binge eating. Like, and then it's just this horrible downward spi like spiral. And then, like, you see these other girls that don't have a care in the world, and they're fine, everything's great. But then these other girls, you know, it's, it's awful, and then that does happen. And then they're just, you see them stuck there, they don't know what to do. And the only thing that'll, you know, get them happy again is getting that job. But then when will that job come? Mm -hmm. You know, modeling, you can make, you can make good money, of course. And you, but it's, it doesn't happen all the time. You know, one month, you can have a good month in modeling. You can be like... I just made however many thousand or I got one job that was like $3,000. You might not have another $3,000 job for two months. Mm -hmm. I have a friend who um, came from a really wealthy family and she's an only child and she's traveling everywhere. I remember she was traveling to Greece and her parents, uh, her dad went with her for the whole like two months she was there in the summer. And then halfway through, <clears throat> her mom came over, flew over and brought her best friend with her so she's like in Greece on a vacation so she's great too. exactly and it's like and they had other friends like you friend. said back to mental health I mean that's yeah, putting like her that's in a fantastic a, mood exactly. she's of course she's gonna book great. jobs and if you she's don't optimistic. who cares you're having yeah, a great time exactly it doesn't matter yeah. but then you see those girls that are skyping with their family from say back home in Russia mm -hmm. that are crying their eyes out yeah and it's just you and see you see like what your the, their situation back home is and how much do you want to help them and how much pressure does that put on you getting that job to help them because you can see that they need it yeah exactly like, you're thrown into like this already adult world mm -hmm. and you're like becoming an adult you have to be an adult and you are 14 15 years old you don't have time to be a teenager it's like sometimes you've gone from child to adult and you skip the in between and that's what's happening to these girls yeah and then what's and happening and then sometimes a lot of them you know they just grow up too fast they don't have that childhood or what happens is you know that they have a breakdown and then they start to fall into bad habits right that's also what happens when girls don't get the jobs or they're not working like forget this i'm just gonna go party mm -hmm. which and, you know i've seen a lot of girls fall into that mess mm -hmm. as well i want to find someone who's gonna pay my way for me yeah who's gonna pay my way who's gonna pay for my things who's gonna you know take care of me sort of mentality mm -hmm. i personally want to sustain myself in life like whether i have a husband boyfriend whatever mm -hmm. i still want to be able to pay for my own things i do not want to have to rely on someone else yeah well these girls 
you see that like Fonties have is and they like fall like they find like a wealthy guy to take care of them. They're completely okay with it. Sometimes girls do come from other countries just to, you know, go to cities like Hong Kong where there's unbelievably wealthy men. Just to find a wealthy man to marry and to be with. And it happens. Yeah. It's more common than people think.